Welcome back to our tack and daughters and now we're going to talk about gun safety by now you've seen the video of myself and my grandson talking about uh, trigger locks and uh, or not just trigger locks because I despise the trigger locks that go on here I don't trust them a hundred percent now these other uh, belt loop locks that you get with every firearm that you purchase and let me give you an example because I have quite a collection of locks you know, here we go. Um, and this is not even all of them. So, uh, they work out well. So, let's first talk about how we can use them on a rifle, an AR style rifle, which could be an AR-10, AR-5, or AR-15, or AR-10. So, basically, you got your gun lock right here, a little cable file. We're also going to do one on, on containers, too. So, you take it out like this. Now, if you separate your gun like this and you stick this in through the magazine well putting a lock on um, then you don't have to worry about one putting the uh, them putting the upper on so on top of the rifle here because that's not going to work because you got the cable in the way now if you got the upper on it you can go through the magazine or you can go through the ejection port which if you have an AR-10 or AR-15 you should know this go through the ejection port and come down and lock it the same way very effective you can't operate the bolt on if you have them together and you can't put a magazine in on this one right here you can't put the upper and lower together and you can't put a magazine in I'm only advising you on how to lock your firearms up from little ones, um, not how to keep your defensive weapon for your house locked. That's stupid, and that's up to you on how you want to do that. I'm not going to tell you how to do it. I'm talking about long-term storage uh, or where you don't want your child to get into it because uh, if you got your house gun, EDC gun, most likely it's the same weapon uh, you carry that so you can get to it the way you need to um, but this is when you're leaving weapons unattended by yourself so personal responsibility if you're a gun owner I understand this video is stupid to you and it's long this is for new people and for uh, the people who don't agree with us on firearms they need to understand that we are about safety we all are about keeping our rights. We are about defending ourselves and our family no matter where we are. And and we are also willing to defend them against bad people. That's what they don't understand. And that's why we need to talk with them. Have a conversation with somebody. Talk about facts. Don't put your personal feelings into it because once you put your personal feelings into it, it doesn't matter. Facts. Facts is that this can help you in a bad situation, period. Or it can turn into a bad situation if you don't have one. Or if you don't have it locked up. So, anyway, let's get this out of here. And they are kind of tricky. So we'll get this one out of the way. That's the lower. Now let's talk about a pistol. Um, th we're going to talk about semi-autos because these are the most popular guns out there. Now, Papo might have a revolver. I have revolvers. I like revolvers. All you have to do is flow out, uh, pop out the cylinder, and you can do this the same way on that. So first of all, we're going to talk about going through the barrel. I don't recommend this going through the barrel, and the reason why is because um, this is zinc. You don't want to mix, and that's a steel barrel. You don't want to mix something or whatever these are made out of. So basically, you, you stick it through the barrel that end, and you get it, and then you pull it up, or you can go through the barrel this way. Um, this is probably the easiest way to go through it this way. Okay. And then you go ahead and you put it uh, into the lock situation there. We got it. Okay. Now, at this point in time, you cannot load around in this gun. The slide will only go that far. The gun is completely safe. It cannot be fired, even if it had a magazine in it. Um, it's not going to put around in the chamber at all because you got the, the lock cable on there. This is one way to set, to uh, store your, gain, your gun safely from little ones or people you don't want having it. But, again, it's not the best way I like to do it. 
So I'll show you the way that I do it. And the way I like to do, go do it is just straight down to chamber, or down to, yeah, through the chamber, down through the magazine well. I like these locks better than the trigger locks because the trigger locks uh, doesn't stop the round from going into the chamber, just in case they do get a hold of it. So you can do it like this again, if it'll work with me. Again, you can shut the magazine on it, or I mean the slide, you can let it go forward. You can't get a magazine in. This is an empty magazine. You can't get a magazine in. You, and if you did, you went, you, there's no way. So anyway, that is how I like to store my pistols long-term and rifles long-term. Shotguns are a little different depending on what they are. If they're semi-automatics, you go through the ejection port just like on a semi-automatic rifle. If it's a single shot, a trigger lock will have to suffice on that because um, depending on how the gun's made, you may be able to, if it's a break open, put this on there, but that you have to go through the trigger guard and then you still lock it. It's not going to work. Uh, most likely a trigger, a trigger lock on a, shot, a single shot shotgun will work. But anyway, this is how you, you should um, store them long term. And then let's talk about uh, ammo boxes. Since I actually have one here. Now, they, people like to talk a lot of bad things about gun shows. And when I mean gun shows, they like to say, oh, the gun show loophole and this and that. There are a lot of products at gun shows other than guns. Um, there's knives. There's, um, what else is there there? There's cases. There's optics. There's all kinds of useful equipment at a gun store or a gun shows um, and usually you'll find really good deals there which is well we all like really good deals so here's another um, idea and then some of these um, now with these locks like that had to go through the TSA now this is basically a, a Technicolor um, I bought two of these at the time. They're Technicolor cases. The guy was selling them for $10 a piece. Now, if you don't know what this is, obviously being orange, oh wow, look. It also has locks here, or um, squeeze. See right there? Clamps for the base, okay? Or for the case, all right? Has a pressure knob right here. So this is a TSA case. Technicolor was shipping um, the laser DVDs for movies to, uh, you know, AMC theaters, places like that. That's what these were coming in. And after they got so long, as you can see, it takes forever to get... I've had this for like three years, four... No, wait a minute. Five years. And it takes forever to get the damn stickers off of them. WD-40 helps uh, on the other one. But it also has these cases here, or these latches, I should say, that are great. Um, it, this is a waterproof case. It has locks right here, or holes for locks on each side. So it is, you could use it as a TSA case. Now, what I have here is a um, lockout tag out ring. So it will not go through there. You could drill the hole out on one side so it will fit all the way through or modify the lockout tag out to go on there. This is just an idea um, I'm putting out here. Um, because then you could put a lock for the TSA on there so they can get into it and then a regular lock that a uh, combination lock that they'll have to get into so this is an idea or you just put a couple padlocks on there whatever you open it up <clears throat> now I did have to modify this it had its own little padding up here that was orange now this right here is extra padding that I got uh, because the one it came with was uh, basically just um, it had a cutout in here now it's empty right now but it had a cutout in here for the DVD uh, assembly to sit into so basically I just had some leftover uh, padding and then you can get any type of padding stick in here uh, from shipping whatever and then you'll have like a little slit over here on this side again another way to got a little block there to cover it up there you go put your 
pew pew in there. Put your lock either way you want to put on it on there and lock it it. So you could now you can't ship loaded magazines, but the way this one I got cut out, you can stick a stick the magazine down there, put your gun lock through your gun, your pistol here. La di da, stick it in there, lock it. And with that type of uh, pistol, um, with the cable type, they can still check the weapon at the when the TSA opens it up and checks it. Put your lock right here, the other lock right there. Now you're good to go. You got your air pressure vent here that you can you don't have to worry about that. You won't have to worry about that on a pistol anyway. But for five dollars, that thing was a steal because most of those Pelican cases like that are extremely extremely expensive for a pelican case even the ones at harbor freight are like 50 60 dollars but i wish now the only problem is is i wish i would have bought more for five dollars a piece i should have bought 40 dollars worth but anyway that's your gun safety and storage procedure thing here now if you wanted to you could still put some desiccant packets in here to keep moisture out where just because if you live in the south moisture gets everywhere because it's humid down here up north same way uh, with humidity and basements and things of that nature so there you go here's something to think about if you ever see these for sale pick them up especially if they're cheap even if they're 20 bucks a piece these things are well worth it they're indestructible basically almost guaranteed not to implode like a submarine going to see the titanic it has a rubber seal Put a little, you can put a little bit of uh, Vaseline around that rubber seal to keep it nice and fresh uh, so it doesn't go bad. It has a raised lip, it's watertight. I, well, I don't know what to tell you. Here, and this is your safety video from our Tack and Daughters. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel, and we'll catch you good folks next time.